Hey, what's going on beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for taking the time to check my channel out. Before we get into the real talk, I wanted to make one very brief announcement. I got engaged. It's pretty exciting. You know, pretty cool. But um, if you follow me on Twitter, you would already have known that. But yes, I got engaged. You guys are seeing this video like a little bit after it had happened. But um, yeah, so that's a very exciting thing. So thank you to all the support for people who have already reached out. I really appreciate it. So today's video, um, actually, I, I have a list of videos that I wanted to film for like the next couple of weeks because I have some time now. I'm on spring break. So I was like, I'm going to film a ton of videos. But um, I originally wasn't planning on filming this, but I actually got inspired by one of my coworkers. So one of my coworkers um, actually plays Magic too, and so we get the chance sometimes to like talk about Magic at work, and it's so cool. I get to like nerd out, and it's really awesome. And I don't really quite remember what initiated the conversation. Um, it was something about God. I feel like it was. I think he was telling me that he was like trying to build towards his modern deck, and he was saying that you know, he's like, I've been kind of like saving up and stuff. And he's like, magic is just like so expensive. And we just kind of like got on the topic of talking about like, um, I like I mentioned like legacy and how I feel like legacy is a very inaccessible format. And we we're basically talking about a little bit about modern horizons and what's kind of going on with that. And I was like, I think it's a little weird that they were like not doing reprints, which I think the more I honestly think about that. And if you guys watch, I did a video on War of the Spark and Modern Horizons, my kind of initial first impressions, we don't really have a lot of information about them yet. But this was kind of just my first impressions. And I was like, I'm very wary about like what it does. And you guys know, I don't play competitive magic anymore. And I truly don't foresee my myself ever getting back into competitive magic, but that's not to say that I don't care about the other magic players who play competitive magic. And I was like, I do really much feel like the fact that some people just can't have access to cards really bothers me. And that's, I'd say like one of the most things that really truly gets me about magic and someone I've definitely heard people say well magic is a luxury type of thing and it's like a hobby and if you want to play it like well you just need money and I'm like I feel like that's a really poor like excuse to be like well I have money and I can play and you don't have money so sucks to suck and if you want to play like a deck and like just thinking about like the price of modern decks and I think the true thing that we were kind of getting at and he said he was like well he was like I was listening to this podcast and he was saying that it was like featuring um a lot of like the pro players and they were basically just saying like how like privileged we are to like have access to magic cards like we have access to sponsorships and cards that if I don't have a card or I don't have a deck I can just go to my team or I can go to someone and I can just get cards or I can buy cards it's just like I have like the ability to constantly change my deck and to be honest guys I think one of the true things that really turned me off playing modern and competitive magic was the fact that I don't like that mentality I don't like that mentality that like you have like there's so many conflicting views of like playing in modern and how like some people say you should play one deck and you should get really good at that and then there's kind of, kind of like elitist mentality which says that actually you should have like every access to every single modern deck and you should play whatever is good that weekend and yeah a deck may be good one weekend and then you may never play it again but hey at least you spent all the money on that cards and like guys that's just so not accessible and I'm, I probably don't need to say that because there's many of you who truly do feel that way, that it is very inaccessible to play magic. And I feel like that is just not right. I just don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair that there's a certain group of people who have access to more cards than other people. And I feel like I really want to like propose solutions and I really want to like think through like how can we truly change this sort of like messed up system and I feel like it truly does start with sets like Modern Horizons and reprinting cards and making it so more and more people can have access to cards and I truly think that the mentality of well you should just play the best deck and even if you you are can't afford it well too bad I think that mentality just truly needs to go away um I felt like if you are someone who plays competitive magic and you know there's a lot of people and there's particularly a lot of people in the very like pro community who truly do think the only way to get to where they are is to 
have a magic library of just decks and every weekend you may be changing decks. First off, that requires a lot of time. It requires a lot of time of study. It requires like total dedication. And that's why, and I think I've mentioned this in other videos, like I don't think a lot of people fully understand the process, the time, the effort, the energy that it takes to be at the top to play competitive magic. And I don't know from firsthand experience it, but like just the vibes I'm getting and the people who are and who talk about it and just like, you know, we have a couple of the guys at Mija Sanctum who are like super into that. Like we have Will who hasn't been featured on my channel. We have John Martin, um, Jeremy Fry, and like they're like the guys like at the top, like they've been on the pro tour and they've they've done really cool things and like they just like they're the grind like, that they have to do like the amount of effort like magic just is their life and there's so many people who just like don't have that kind of luxury and don't have that privilege and I feel like it's I don't like I just think things need to things need to change I think magic needs to be just be way more accessible to people who want to play more competitively and I think that mentality of well if you don't have a deck well you know, you're not going to get on the pro tour or you're not going to do this thing. And it just thinks, I think the real thing is like making cards more affordable. And I think with reprints, I think that's a really, really good place to start. And that's one thing I think that's truly turning me off for Modern Horizons is the fact that the, like, we need a set of like just playable cards. And I feel like Ultimate Masters, I feel like was a pretty good example of that. Like a lot of the rares and a lot of the mythics were cards that truly did need to be reprinted. And I do really appreciate that about Ultimate Masters, and I think that was something they did really well. And I'm just really wary about Modern Horizons, just the more and more I think about it, the more and more I'm like, I don't know why we're not having reprints. I do feel like it's going to be a really good shift in the format, and I think it's going to invite a lot of new people in it. But I also feel like, too, like, one thing that I feel like would just be really beneficial is for people who do want, they want it, like, they want to be on the pro tour like they want to be at the top I feel like there needs to be and and please correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like there just needs to be more information about that I feel like more people need to really know what are the steps that it takes towards being a competitive magic player what are the things that I need to do and I think that it's going to be like the cold reality for a lot of people but I think that's really important and the last thing that I guess I kind of want to really say about this topic is I feel like a format like Legacy in particular is a format that I think is the most inaccessible, ridiculous format. Because Dual Lands, it's just like, I just want to like give a scenario. Like say a lot of people who play Magic decided we want to play, we want to get into Legacy. Like there's only X amount of Dual Lands in the world. Like, what if everyone just decided we're just going to pick up Legacy? Like, there would, it's supply demand, like, there would be a not, like, not everyone is going to get those types of cards. So it's like, there's only a certain pool of cards. Like, we'll just like, I don't know, I'm just going to make up numbers here. Say there's like a hundred duel lands in the world. I know there's not, this is just like a hypothetical example. There's a hundred duel lands in the world and then 200 magic players want those dual lands, there's going to be people who just aren't going to get them. So therefore, Legacy just literally doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I just feel like, and then some people who are like, oh, Tracy, you should play Legacy. No, 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 no. And absolutely. And please let me know if you're someone who plays Legacy or you're someone who plays Modern right now, please let me know. Do you feel like Modern and Legacy are blending more and more? And I feel that way, especially about hearing about Modern Horizons and how they're like, oh, we're going to reprint cards that like are coming back. And a lot of people are speculating things like Baleful Strix and Counterspell, and things like that and I'm like what is the point of having modern legacy like is Wizards of the Coast like trying to just completely get rid of legacy as a format because it is so inaccessible like I'm not 100% sure like what's going on but that's the vibe that I feel like we're moving in I could be wrong these are just speculations but this is just it seems to me like we're moving in this type of direction where legacy and modern are just going to be so similar at this point like what are the true differences you have dual lands and you have like better cards and it's way more expensive yeah but like really I, I mean the co-worker that I was talking to and we just like were really talking about how like the price of modern deck if you want to build like a modern control deck it's like at 1k at least and that's just saying like if you're not interested in any foils or anything like that if you're just like the baseline borderline like I want to I'm honestly trying to think of like my blue white control deck it's on tap down and I can like totally look, look it up I don't I don't remember off the top of my head but um it was like definitely like 1k which is a lot of money and I just feel like not everyone not everyone necessarily wants to spend that money so I feel like 
I don't know. I feel like I don't want to just like complain and be like, these are problems, but I'm just, I'm not like hundred percent sure on like how to formulate, like what are the steps that we can take towards fixing these pretty terrible problems that there are. And I feel like the mentality of, well, this is just how it is. Magic is a hobby. It's going to be expensive is like an awful excuse and like definitely not one that we should use. So I would really like to know what your feedback is on this. I would like to know if you were someone like if you worked at Wizards of the Coast and would they presented to you this problem like how would you handle it? Like what would you say? What are your ways that you would make the format more accessible for um for new new players or people who are really wanting to expand their magic collection? Like what is a good way to broaden your magic collection? I would really like to know. So Guys, that is it for this video. Um, I hope to see you guys in my next one.